I found another weird and yet funny story for you guys to listen to. Let's get into it. Now, apparently, you know, the holidays are coming. You got Christmas, Thanksgiving, Kwanzaa. I mean, if I said that right, everything. You got a lot of stuff just coming up. And apparently not everybody gets to, you know, bring their family or their boyfriend, girlfriend, new husband, whatever, to their family event. So this lady decided to make these bears to for singles, especially, who can snuggle up to this giant emotional support bear. And it doesn't snores. And the problem is, is that if I, if we if we look at in the lens where if you were a kid, you can understand that they are more clingy to, to things, items such as teddy bears, toys and whatnot like that. But as an adult, it changes and it becomes different. So you're supposed to evolve from that. And it's funny how, you know, if you're alone, they go back into that that child mind mind state in her case. Now, I'm not too sure if she's doing it in a you know, it could be a positive way, but it also looks in in a certain way where like this could be a, a quite a mental development issue. Thus, let's get more into the story. The loving bear puffy is shaped and size as a male human body. So, like, think about it: a male human body already. So they, these are more or less targeted for a single woman who's looking for a man and doesn't have a man, but. A five, I mean, five foot seven. Normally, a female would request much more taller. I know the the standards is way above, um, you know, expectations. But you know, she made the five foot seven doll, oversized plush bear, weighing about seven pounds. I mean, this is unrealistic already because you know, five foot seven, we were around like what a uh, hundred and forty, hundred and fifty pounds. So like, it's not the closest thing to a man. That's for sure, but it's just it's just uh, an object to have around, I guess. In this way, where they make fun of some guys with the blow up doll, <laughs> I, you got your bear, you got your bear plush bear. I mean, Blair put plush doll, whatever. And the physical presence of a, a person in various moments and situations of everyday life, especially during lonely long nights. I, I, to be honest, the the only person that can handle that can, you know, to cure that kind of illness because you know feeling lonely it can be i cannot say it's an illness it's just you know you're just alone and and you know that can that can lead to different things and leave you to different routes such as depression and anxiety and just feeling your low self-esteem and stuff like that but hey look just viewing the video of these ladies they look very attractive i'm pretty sure a lot of people a lot of men there's a lot of a lot of selections in their court i would say so not for their beauties and look not many women has that those type of beauties and looks so i don't understand why they're low maybe it's for advertisement um i let you guys hit that comment section for that now um the milky brown bear is produced by a bulgarian company i think i covered someone from bulgaria um previous videos ago but the funny part about it is like all right you got this bear that looks like a a, a you know like a kanye west <laughs> college dropout doll and how how would you seem like when family occasions, you know, get together? Are you going to bring the doll with you? Are you going to bring your plush bear with you? Are you going to leave your plush bear in the car, taking it to outdoor, outdoor activities and stuff like that? Because, you know, we're not, it, it seems very like, oh, OG Black Tiger, that's farce. It, that'll never happen. But listen, and this is today's society where the unnormal looks normal. Well, maybe we'll see it very soon. But it shouldn't like these ladies. Um, uh, I, I highly wouldn't recommend to buy it because it can like, it it, it can just like more or less. I, I'm not. You know what? Whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna say it this way. Whatever floats your boat. If you want to buy it or buy it not. But there's there's advantages and risk. Maybe it does comfort you in that type of alone way, but it kind of uh distance you from actually doing uh you know being out there and in the reality form and actually talking to these people and try to find your soulmate. So it's kind of the weird thing to, to do, um, especially for your, uh, you know, when you're entering your stage, your adult development, or you're already in your adult de development, this can set you back from actually interacting to actual human beings. So, uh, five foot seven, uh, you know, not disrespecting five foot seven guys. Eh, you could be five foot seven lover, you know, whatever. So long you got the, you know, you can rap to a lady, sing the sing the the the, the correct songs to her, and makes you make you feel her vibe. 
you'll be all right you'll be all right but that's all i got guys if you guys like the video hit that like share subscribe hit that comments let me know if uh this is a buy or not a buy um uh and i had to leave it with this one this is funny because they say the company also notes that the toy comes bare naked allowing you to choose how it dresses so you can buy clothes for this damn bear and dress it like it, you i was leave some pictures there for you guys to see especially um what triggers me is like <laughs> no what makes me actually laugh is she got the doll wearing the christmas clothes with the christmas tree and she's laying alongside with it girl if you don't get your ass out and go get your man go to the the, the bar sports bar if that's a little too much that you know you you're a little very careful with your selection go go to a cigar shop go to a uh, a football game yankee game wrestling game or something like that if you don't go out there it ain't gonna come to your doorstep i'll tell you that for sure if you don't you know a lady named leah she said that um, since Puffy has been with me, I fell asleep much easier, faster. I love his softness and the sense of security. It gives me another customer named Carrie said. I think her name is Leah. I don't know. But anyway, some of the comment sections that, you know, that really made me laugh about it was like, you know, which made me laugh and also agree with her at the same time. I thought I, thought I saw it all until now. Someone else said, quote, Clearly, this is not for the stable members of society. And it's clearly not. It's, it's, it's kind of separating from a structural family. We're entering a society where it's okay to be alone. And I highly disagree. I believe everyone should have someone there to be with them through the good times or the bad times. We all deserve that.